Class 6, good morning to all of you. Today I will discuss the Gupta Empire again. And uh, education part is pending. So see the education part. This type of education given by the Guptas. See, the Guptas encourage in, uh, education and learning. Who has encouraged the education and learning? The Guptas has. Uh, the Guptas has encouraged learning and education part. Liberal grants were given to educational institutions. Their greatest contribution was the. establishment of the university at nalanda the greatest establishment of the university of nalanda nalanda is a very famous eastern university so which became very famous during harsha's reign in the 7th century so next topic the nalanda university was the center of buddhist learning the nalanda university underlined it first the nalanda university was the center of buddhist learning medicine astronomy grammar philosophy vedic literature were some of the other subjects taught at the university theek hai it it re, india has reached the height of its power and glory under the rule of gupta politically the country was untied uh, untied under a strong stable develop uh, government economically the government was rich and prosperous and culturally it achieved extraordinary height of artistic brilliance it was indeed the golden age of ancient indian history so this is the uh, gupta's empire so today i will send you the guptas empire pdf and uh, lecture also so see my next topic is last uh, chapter see the last chapter urban local self government see the chapter number 13 so only this chapter is left but uh, some other important things in the guptas empire i will tell you wait for one minute see the nalanda university is a very important part <coughs> see the nalanda university and i will tell you why the nalanda is very famous it was the most renowned educational institution of ancient india it was located at nalanda in rajgriha in bihar where is nalanda university rajgriha situated in bihar so a lot of information about the nalanda university is given in this inscription and accounts of he t sang yani lalanda university ke bare mein kisne bataya tha he see he t sang a chinese philosopher he has given lot of information regarding the nalanda university clear so a lot of information about the nalanda is given in the inscription and accounts of he t sang a chinese buddhist philosopher Who, who, is, who was who he he sang the chinest buddhist philosopher the scholar who visited india during the reign of harshvardhana he visited india during the during the period of harshvardhana is it clear the university of nalanda had imposing building there were at least eight colleges how many colleges eight colleges what is the important point the university of nalanda had imposing building there were at least eight colleges building by different patterns including one by baldev put so see the nalanda university provide various facility which type of facilities they have provided the nalanda university has provided lot of facilities the facilities to the students for their study 
Next, there were three great libraries. How many libraries? Three great libraries. In the Nalanda University, the you have to write. I will. I have. Uh, I will provide you extra information regarding the Nalanda University. So you have to write in your copy. I will. Dis I will discuss. See, the Nalanda University provided various facilities for the study and the three libraries he has given who has given the library very big libraries has given the name is the first library you have to write fast ratna sagar you have to write fast ratna sagar the first library name is ratna sagar next is three libraries this is the biggest library of nalanda university next is Ratno Dadhi. Ratno Dadhi. Extra information I will provide you regarding the Nalanda University. Very short information given in, the, in your book. And third is Ratna Ranja. Ratna Ranja. Ratna Ranja. So you have to write in your copy. These are the three libraries of the Nalanda University. So you have to write fast. These are the three libraries in the Nalanda University. Have to write in your copy. There were more than, I will tell you very important uh, uh, information regarding the Nalanda University. There were more than 10,000 students. How many students? 10,000 students and teachers. Kitne students say beta mahape Nalanda University mein? 10,000 students and teachers. The next is they came from where they came from? Kaha se loga de de India mein padne? See, they came from Korea, Mongolia, Japan, China, Tibet, and various parts of various parts in, of India. The important topic is where they came from. They came. They were more than ten thousand students and teachers. How many students? Ten thousand teachers and students are also. Next, they were they were came from Korea, Korea, Mongolia, Japan, China, China, Tibet, and other parts, other various parts, uh, other various parts of India. Ye log yahan se education lene ya, India aate the. Next, where is Nalanda University? The important question is, the Nalanda University it is situated in Rajgiya, Rajgriha, where it, where it is? So, it is situated in Bihar. Jo Nalanda University hai, wo kaha pe hai beta? Bihar. See, the subject study, the subjects of study of Nalanda University were all four Vedas. The subjects of a study of a study at Nalanda University were all four Vedas: logic, grammar, medicine, sankhya, yoga, nyaya, and with this work, different types of schools, different schools. Nalanda University not an ordinary university. Nalanda University is, is the very biggest university of India. Nalanda University was not an or, uh, ordinary university. It was a postgraduate institution to which admission was very difficult. This university, the students have got uh, the few, the very few students, they have got the admission because it was a very brilliant university. And see, it was a postgraduate institution to which admission was very difficult. The admission was very difficult in this university. Next, see, an examination was held in which hardly 20% students passed and the rest were rejected. 100% log examination they think. लेकिन उसमें से नालंदा यूनिवर्सिटी में केवल 20% स्टूडेंट्स पास हो पाते थे और बाकी क्या हो जाते थे रिजेक्टेड इट मींस फेल ठीक है 
so the students passed the uh, and the dress were rejected only the most brilliant students were admitted in this university very brilliant students the uh, brilliant students were admitted in this university so it's a very important university and the uh, very brilliant students they were taken admission in this university see nalanda continued to be beacon beacon of light up to the 12th century when he was destroyed by muhammad bin bakhtiyar khilji usko girane ka kaam kisne kiya muhammad bin bakhtiyar khilji he was destroyed when it was destroyed by muhammad bin bakhtiyar khilji you have to write who has destroyed the nalanda university muhammad bin bakhtiyar khilji muhammad bin bakhtiyar khilji i will tell you the name Muhammad, he has destroyed Bin Bakhtiyar, Bakhtiyar Khilji. He has destroyed the Nalanda University. Is it clear? Who has destroyed Nalanda University? Muhammad Bin Bakhtiyar. The question is, who has destroyed the Nalanda University the name is Muhammad bin Bakhtiyar Khilji next important topic a general of Muhammad Ghori he is a general of Muhammad Ghori you have to write a general of he is the he was the he was the general of Muhammad Ghori have to write g h o r i so this is a very important point so who destroyed the um, nalanda university various parts destroyed by the um, muhammad bin bakhtiyar khilji he was the general of uh, muhammad Ma- muhammad ghori you have to write it's a very important to all of you uh, extra information i will provide you because of only one chapter is, is left only today only the remains of the its significance and glory can be seen now i will tell you the gupta's empire very first you write it first see who who is fahim I will tell you who is Fahim. T. Sang. Fahim name has given, and uh, Fahim was the earliest Chinese pilgrim who visited India on a religious mission during the reign of Chandragupta II. Uh, again, I will provide you the extra information regarding the Fahim. Why he visited India and what he has seen. इंडिया ड्यूरिंग इज स्टे इन इंडिया जब वो इंडिया में रुका था तो उसने क्या देखा ही वेंट टू द प्रिलगमेज टू मथुरा वो कहा गया मथुरा कन्नौज कपिल वस्तु कुशीनगर वैशाली पाटलिपुत्र काशी एंड राजगढ़ ही मेड अ केयरफुल अनबेज ऑब्जर्वेशन अबाउट द कंडीशन एट दैट टाइम अकॉर्डिंग टू फाही वॉट ही वॉज रेड इन इंडिया Magra was a prosperous what he see what what he has seen in India Magra was a prosperous country usne ye dekha magad kya hai bahut badi bade shaharon mein se very large town steaming and wealthy population next is Patliputra was a flourishing city with a numerous charitable institution although the people were very wealthy and the led simple life live Uh, generally observing the buddhist rules of conduct jo log buddhist ko follow karte the theek hai next see chandragupta first i will tell you chandra who who is chandragupta first chandragupta first was the first independent king with the title of maharaja dhiraja so chandragupta first ko title diya gaya tha kya naam tha uska maharaja dhiraja or the kings of king it means rajaon ka raja. is it clear 
after declaration declaring the independence in magadha chandragupta first extended him his empire through matrimonial alliances by marrying lakshmi princes usne kisse shaadi ki thi beta lakshmi princes what what is the name one the wife's name of uh, chandragupta first is kumara devi you have to write fast it has given in your book so what is the uh, who is the wife of uh, chandragupta first was the wife of chandragupta first kumara devi so you have to write fast to kumara devi it has given already in your book so today i will send you the pdf of this chapter and uh, last only one chapter is left in the same so thank you everyone